matters. Rise and take your stance again. He who fight and run away. Live to fight another day. That's what I tell you, right? You don't quit. Bob is telling you right there. All right, here we are again. John Joseph, The Hard Truth. And a lot of people hit me up and always have been. I've been at this, like I said, many, many, many years. And then when the internet came along, and when my book, Meet Us the Pussies, came out, HarperCollins, uh, you know, I kept getting asked, you know, how do I get my kids to eat healthy? And I'm like, you have to be able to disguise the medicine a little bit. The first thing that my mother knew that I wanted was macaroni and cheese and hamburgers. So you could have all the shit that you used to like, except you could do it plant power style. So what we're doing today, we're making beast burgers in pita bread uh, with lettuce, tomato, tartar sauce, organic ketchup, everything's organic. And we're making organic uh, mac and cheese, and we're gonna fold some spinach in there. Get the vibe going, get the food going. Love that sacrifice. Good vibes. I never cook angry. If I'm angry, I don't get in the motherfucking kitchen. But think this. We got a cup of potatoes, three quarters cup carrots, three quarter cup zucchini, one cup of raw cashews, a little bit of lemon juice. We got our nutritional yeast. It's boom. Boom. I like more. Quarter cup coconut milk. We're gonna do that twice. Get that nice base in there. Boom, look at that. Oh. Oh my God, that smells divine. I do have to add a little bit of salt. So what I'm doing is, I'm trying to get the kids the nutrients that they need without knowing that I'm eating vegetables, I'm eating spinach, I'm eating uh, zucchini, I'm eating carrots. That is what the cheese looks like, man. That is no joke, okay? You got potatoes, carrots, zucchini, cashews. A lot of kids have gluten allergies because glyphosate Monsanto. That's why a lot of people are having these problems. Uh, the amount of glyphosate being dumped on all the grain and stuff like that. So this is made with corn flour and organic quinoa flour. So this is a high protein pasta, dig that. When I get done making this, I wish there was a whole schoolyard of kids because they will tear this shit up, I guarantee you. It even smells gluten free. Me, I eat as much gluten as I can get my fucking hands and I shovel gluten into my fucking face. As long as it's organic, I don't have a problem with it. And I'm only gonna dump a little tiny bit of this in there. Right? And it's only so that the pasta does not stick. Let me just break stuff down to you. If you saw Forks Over Knives, one of the statements that really get people in the trailer of that movie was that this may be the first generation, generation being born now, could be the first generation of kids in the history of this planet whose parents are going to outlive them. You have kids, eight and nine years old, with fatty streaks in their bloodstreams that they're, they're having to take cholesterol-lowering drugs. They're having heart disease at 10 years old. And what this is costing, in America alone, 23 million kids in the U.S. are now going to cost $117 billion motherfucking dollars in healthcare, 117 billion because of what they're eating, how they're living, the gadgets, they're sitting around. When I was a kid, I'm 55. All I did was go out and, and exercise. The truth is, if they are obese as a kid, very few, 
Very few are able to break that cycle in adulthood. The statistics are proven they stay obese throughout their fucking lives. We got to stop this. We got to stop this. This shit is insanity. All right? And we can stop it. It starts with you, the parents. They're leading by your example. If you're sitting down and eating a bunch of shit and a bucket of KFC, guess what? Your kids are going to eat that too. Get the kids moving, man. Make it fun. Get them off the video games. Get them out from behind their fucking computers and all of this stuff. So with elbow macaroni, you got to shake it a little more than average pasta. Because, did you see my vice thing, by the way? The no dairy, no death lasagna? I'm a bad motherfucker when it comes to pasta. See? I know what I'm talking about. Oh, man, smell it. So you gotta shake it a little more and get that water out. Cause you don't want watery macaroni and cheese. Your kids ain't gonna eat it. I know some of you animals, you, you work out, you fucking lift weights, you, you're, you're fucking animals, right? Be gentle. You don't wanna break your pasta up. It's very tender. It's very fucking tender pasta. You know, don't go fucking breaking up your elbow macaroni. Sons of bitches. I'm trying to teach you something here. Now I told you, right? See that? Look at that, man. We're, we're folding the fucking spinach in there. Your kid ain't even gonna know. It's fuck. He's gonna be like, what's that green shit? It tastes all right. We're ready to go into the oven. 400 degrees for 10 minutes about, and I'm gonna keep checking on it because I don't want it to burn, but we want the top to get crispy. In you go, you bastard. Get in there. And always make sure you push stuff to the back of the oven. That's where the real heat is, towards the center, not in the front. You know, the first two episodes we did, I didn't re really get into uh, why I went plant-based or vegan, because I am vegan. Uh, I don't wear leather. I don't use any products that have animal products in it. Nothing. Everything in my house. Everything. Cleaning ingredients. Everything. I practice a lifestyle of ahimsa, which means nonviolence. That don't mean if somebody steps to me trying to cause some shit that that shit ain't going to get handled. That's not what it means. It means you do your best in life to not create harm to other living entities. So... I'm doing this out of compassion. First and foremost, it was, I came from violent shit throughout my life. I had shit done to me. I was on the streets. I seen people get murdered in front of me. I've been in lockup. I came from a really violent, bad place. And when I transitioned to this diet, everything changed. This is the Bible of yoga. It's called the Bhagavad Gita as it is by A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. If you are interested in yoga, this breaks down everything about yoga. If you're doing all this nonsense and doing all this crap and getting fucked up and cheating on your wife and cheating on your husband and smoking cigarettes and just drugs and then you think because you go and stand on your head and bend like a fucking pretzel that that's yoga. That's not yoga. That's gymnastics. Yoga requires what's called tapasya. And in Sanskrit, that means penance and austerity. Austerity is you undergo a hardship to achieve a higher result. Bhagavad Gita as it is, and you can get it at www.prabhupadbooks.com. Don't get any of the changed versions. That's where you get the original version. Bhagavad Gita as it is, and I do what's known as Japa meditation, which is chanting. Very powerful. Sound vibration, you know it. You know I love music. Sound vibration is the most powerful in the world. If I didn't stick my hand in that bee bag, I'd be hemming up a lot of suckers that's in New York right now. This keeps me and my mind straight. This keeps me peaceful. You know, Hare Krishna, Rama. Right? The three words. And you see them guys running around in the orange bed sheets. They may seem crazy and weird to you, but let me tell you something. There's some deepness going on. So give respect to everything. So I just want to say that and put that out there, man.
It's about awakening the consciousness. The planet needs to change. We need to shift our mentality from one of just causing mindless violence and all of this craziness that's going on. The third thing, look at what's being done to the environment because of the industrial meat production and all this stuff. Destroying the rainforest, destroying the oceans, everything. Destroying the rivers. We're fucking this planet up. What are you leaving for your kids, man? How are you leaving this planet? You know, in the Vedas from India, it says that the standard is you leave things better than how you found it. Are you leaving shit better than how you found it? Because you want to stuff a fucking Mickey D fucking uh, burger or a KFC nugget down your fucking gullet? You're destroying shit. Pay attention. We're at a critical fucking point right now in the history of this planet. So we're putting... Oh, man, look at those. I'm going to tell you right now, we served these beast burgers. My brother served them to Boricuas in the Bronx. And he didn't tell them that that shit was vegan. And they bugged the fuck out. He served this to them. And the Beyond Meat burgers, they didn't even know that they was eating vegan food. He had to tell them. They're like, yo, get the fuck out of here. But it's true. Yeah, it's pea protein, non-GMO. 23 grams of protein to a burger. You fucking knuckleheads that keep asking me, where do you get your protein? 55 years old, all right? Look at the fucking guns, you fucking animals. Don't eat that shit. You're killing yourself. That's right, you get that nice little juice coming out of there. Look at that. What kid is not gonna eat that? We're gonna toast the fucking pita. We're gonna throw some lettuce, tomato. I'm gonna make you an incredible sauce. And then I got some pita, so we're gonna do a stuffed pita, which is great because this is less bread for kids. But when you see a few imperfections on a tomato, that's what organic tomatoes are like. Look at, let me show you something. Look at the richness of these tomatoes, man. All right? And that's juice. These are vine ripened and look at that. This is uh, this organic tartar, vegan. A little ketchup, a little stone ground mustard. And something's telling me, my spidey senses are telling me that that macaroni and cheese is done. It's gonna be a wrap. So look, we got our sauce going. And I don't like iceberg lettuce because there's no nutrients. This, this red leaf lettuce has chlorophyll in it. Look at that pita, man. Now, hold on. The crown jewel of this whole fucking extravaganza is coming. Your cashew cheese, your spinach. Oh my God. Yo, I guarantee you, you make this for your kids, they're gonna bug the fuck out. No processed vegan crap cheese with oil. And now, let's check out the Beast Burger. There ain't a kid in the three worlds that won't eat this shit and love it. I'm telling you right now, this is awesome. That shit looks like meat. And you know what I say to the purists, the macro psychotics? Why are you trying to make things taste like meat? Fuck you. It's about saving the kids' lives. And if they want to eat something that tastes like meat that's good for them, fuck you. I don't care what the fuck you got to say. In five years, you're going to be eating hamburgers, real hamburgers anyway. Yeah, the uh, recipe will be in the comments. It'll be posted there, and if you, if you need to further hit me up, you know my Instagram, John Joseph Cro-Mag, JJ Twitter. I'm on Facebook, John Joseph. Don't be a dick, don't be offensive, cause I'll find you, and I swear, no, I'm just kidding, let me be nice. It's a positive thing, I'm doing this to help people. That's what it's all about, we'll see you guys next time on The Hard Truth with John Joseph, keep the PMA, get out, do some exercise. And you know what else? Get out there and do something nice for somebody else too. That's a good thing too. Peace out.